Hello guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. It is currently Tuesday for me. Um, I'm just sat at my desk. I have done so many jobs this morning that I've been avoiding for ages. So I'm feeling quite happy with myself. Um, and I've just made myself a cup of tea. I'm about to have a call with my manager. This has literally just arrived. This big Penhaligon's bag. So I'm super excited about that. It's my favorite perfume brand ever as you guys probably know so yeah this vlog is going to be another week in lockdown just chilling doing the lockdown things but hopefully it'll be fun and nice to watch anyway oh my god this spoiled me what is this hi darling i hope you enjoy this selection looking forward that's so lovely oh my god um so i asked for a bottle of the Cairo because I have like a small bottle at the moment and I've fallen in love with it. It's a very kind of like oudy, very rich, glamorous smell and I'm obsessed with this. So yeah, I asked for a full, oh, that's my manager. Hi, how are you? Tell me what your name is. Tell me what you like and all your secrets. I just want to go over the deep. Hi. Bye. Bye. Just to finish up the call with my lovely manager, we always just kind of have a catch up and talk about what we're working on at the moment, what we want to work on and just kind of touch base because I honestly speak to her more than anyone. We chat on WhatsApp all day long. Literally manages everything for me in terms of work and brands and stuff um, and she's brilliant. So anyway, I'll show you what Penhaligon's um, sent. This. Hey, this is Impressa. Amazing. I've definitely tried this one before. I can't remember what it smells like though. So I'll report it back. And then there's also like some body washes and hand cream. Um, this is another one of my favorite scents. This is the Luna. I absolutely love the perfume version of this. I wear it a lot at home because it's very kind of light and fresh. And they sent me this little set. So that's really, really lovely. Guys, I did my hair today with a dressing gown robe. I did that like viral TikTok trend where you um, make curls with, am I in focus? Make, yeah, make curls with your dressing gown and look how it turned out. I'm very impressed, um, love it. And obviously you don't need any heat to make it. Um, right now I'm gonna do a massive homeware haul. I've just had a notification to say some bits have arrived downstairs. Um, I've got lots of bits from Amazon and I've got lots of bits from Zara Home. Zara Home order arrived a few days ago and I have been desperate to use all of the stuff but I have saved it to show you guys. So yeah, let's do it. I've just gone down and collected my Amazon parcels but I'll start off with Zara because that's what I'm most excited about. The first thing I'm going to show you guys came in this box and I've just taken it out of the box because it is so, so heavy. Um, but it is this huge candle and oh my god guys it's like lifting a full-on weight it is bigger than the size of my head and it's this beautiful like brown glass with the zara kind of label at the front and then it comes with like a wooden lid oh my god i'm really struggling <laughs> and then it's a six wick candle and oh my goodness this smells incredible why it smells so hard to describe it's like a very earthy woody tone similar to the penhaligans actually um, where it's quite like a rich smell. So this is from their signature collection. It doesn't say what it smells like, which isn't helpful. But yeah, this was 80 pounds, which I know is a lot for a candle. But I've been looking to get like a really big candle for next to the TV unit. Just because I love lighting candles, I get through them so quickly because I kind of have them on all the time. I feel like they just really set the mood and create a nice ambiance. So yeah, I've been looking for like a big one and there's obviously Jo Malone and Diptyque, but they're around like 250 pounds, which I just can't justify for a candle, even though they are huge. But yeah, I never thought I'd be this obsessed with a candle. I just absolutely love it. It looks so perfect as well, just next to the TV. And um, I can't wait to light it. I'm super excited. And yeah, I just love the way it's packaged as well. It makes a really nice ornament as well as a candle. And then the next thing I picked up are these coasters here, which are this really cool kind of pearly, iridescent colour. Um, these were £20. So here's what they look like. I just think it's such a beautiful colour. And then it's got a gold rim as well, which will really tie in with a lot of the bits in our house. 
Um, and yeah, they're just so cute, aren't they? I feel like as well, because they have a bit of texture on it, you're not going to always see the ring marks. The coasters at the moment we have are gold and they just show every like tiny stain up. So I'm hoping that these ones won't do that. I also picked up this bath mat. At the moment, my bath mats are all black and I don't know why, because it's quite not a dark bathroom but the tiles are like a dark gray, so I kind of feel like it needs a bit of white to brighten it up. So I picked up this white bath mat and it is honestly humongous. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. I actually think it is probably too big, especially because my bathroom isn't the largest of rooms. Um, so I might exchange this for a smaller size because I actually love um, how soft it is. It's like a really soft, thick material. I wish I went and got some towels now because I feel like if the towels are this material, then that'd be lovely because it feels very luxurious. I think it's around 20 pounds. I might actually keep this maybe as like a hand towel. Or is that weird to use a bath mat as a hand towel? I guess you can't really tell. But yeah, just super simple, super plain, but great quality. Um, what else did I get? Okay, next up, we have these, and I'm so excited for these. They come really weirdly wrapped. It's like this honeycomb kind of texture. So strange. <gasps> oh my god. Look how stunning these glasses are. I just think these are beautiful. Is that a scratch? I think that might be scratched. Can you see that? I'm not going to be able to see it, I don't think. But it's got like a kind of scratch going down. But anyway, I just thought these were so pretty. They're just like drinking glasses. I love how simple the shape is. It's just like a straight, straight minimal design with this gold rim, which again, I just think gold is so pretty in the home. And they're big as well. Like I drink so much water, especially with meals and stuff. I normally go through about two of these. So um, yeah, the bigger the glass, the better. So I got a few of these. And also think about how cute like my smoothies are going to look in these. Just gorgeous. I'm assuming they're hand wash only. Then from Amazon, we've got three parcels here. Okay, exciting. So I bought these glass straws. Oh my god, I love them. Again, I just thought these would be really good for my smoothies. And I love how they're like thick and chunky. And also they're see-through, obviously. Because the straws we have at the moment are really thin and you can't see through them and I just get worried that they're dirty without realising so I thought glass would be a lot easier but these seem really good quality, they seem quite durable as well um, but yeah, I can just imagine myself drinking my smoothies that's just so aesthetically pleasing isn't it for about £10 maybe, maybe less the next thing didn't even arrive like in a box, it just came literally like this I got myself a new Nutri bullet and this is just so exciting currently have one from Salter, which has been good, but um, really annoyingly, they don't sell like the parts individually. So if something breaks, you can't just replace the part, um, which is really frustrating. Because yeah, they put like loads and loads of like turmeric and something else, like some sort of hard nut in the old blender. And it kind of just ruined the like cup thing. And you can't buy a cup to replace it, which seems really silly. Um, but anyway, I just bought a new Nutribullet because you can buy the parts separately if anything was to break. Oh wow, this is so cool. So I got like the champagne brushed brass color. Um, I actually wanted the black, but it was like, I think it was about 160 pounds, whereas this was 60. And I was just thinking, I'm not gonna spend an extra 100 pounds just for like an aesthetic reason. I actually really like it to be fair. It's just that it doesn't really match the kitchen very well, but it doesn't matter because it's still pretty. It's almost like a pinky tone, I really like that. And then it comes, oh my God, look how clean and clear this is. Yeah, it also comes with one cup thing and then another cup thing. Oh, this one has a cute little handle, I like that. And then a lid as well. That is just the cutest. Guys, my smoothie content is about to get so good. I've got new glasses, got a new blender, I've got straws. Yeah, I'm excited for this. And then I have one more parcel, don't I? Where is it? Right here it is. And then this is the last thing I got. It's not really a home thing. Um, it's just a gar shawl because um, my rose quartz one smashed all over the floor, which is so sad. So I thought I'd try the jade one. Although this doesn't really look like real jade, but I guess it will do the job anyway. So yeah, you just use it to massage your face um, and for like lymphatic draining and stuff. 
but yeah that is the last thing in this cute little haul so yeah that's the end of my little home my haul i hope you guys enjoyed it um i'll link everything down below as always here it is in its new home um but putting it here just reminded me that this wall i don't know if it will come up on camera yeah as you can see it's really really marked can you see like here how like there's different tones of paint this was all like this when we moved in and yeah it really annoys me so i'm going to get into some old clothes and paint over it all i've bought some paint um, and just make it look a little bit more neat and clean this is my cute little paint set that i bought uh i got this from b and m ages ago and i've never really come around to using it i feel like these mini rollers will do the job for now Okay, don't judge me if you know what you're doing because I have absolutely no idea. Okay, I feel like this is working. I've done like the first coat and it's looking so much brighter and nicer. Whoever painted this last though did not do a very good job. I'm not saying I'm, a, I'm an expert, but there's loads of like gaps. I know I just met you, but something tells me that you might be into talking to a stranger with a tattoo. Baby, I'm another kind. There's a reason we're here, there's a vibe in the air that neither you and me could deny. Boy, I see how you stare up and down everywhere. I can tell you're a part of Okay, so I've done the first layer of paint. Um, not that you can really see because it is just a white wall, but it's already looking lots brighter. So I need to do the second coat. And I'm just wondering if I'm gonna have to go right to the top to the ceilings. I don't know if it's gonna leave like a bit of a line or not. So we shall see when it dries. guys i'm actually loving this i'm having so much fun um i'm now thinking why did i do this earlier it's making the place look so much like brighter and cleaner okay, so i'm just boiling some water to make a quick bit of lunch i've wrapped the rollers in some cling film to keep them nice and wet and now i'm just going to quickly tackle this cupboard here um because yeah the organization in here is not the best and i'm in a bit of an organized kind of mood here is a little before we've kind of got like random bits of food up here tupperware and stuff here i've got cleaning products here and i don't even know what's in here so yeah i'm gonna do that now okay so it looks a little bit better now it's such a random cupboard and it's a bit awkward to fill because it's really deep um but i've just put like tupperware at the top got some like dried food bits here and then cleaning products at the bottom i don't know if it's weird to keep cleaning products and food in the same place um probably makes sense to put them under the sink but there's just no room under there so they stay here for now here is my lunch and how dreamy does this look i know it's the most basic dish of all time but i'm just such a pasta girl i absolutely love it yeah i'm gonna eat this i'm gonna add some mozzarella probably maybe a bit of parmesan because i'm also a cheese kind of girl i just had my lunch and it was lovely i always get such a sweet tooth after i finish eating um so i'm eating one of these <laughs> I eat like an actual child, it's not normal, but it's um, a raspberry octopus. <laughs> um, these are so tasty. And yeah, they just taste like raspberries, it's really yummy. Anyway, now I'm just going to do some more work. I need to do some product selections. I need to um, finish off like my tax return thing and send to my accountant. So not very fun stuff. Good evening, guys. I've been painting all day long. The good news is the paint is a perfect match in the kitchen, so I don't need to do the um, 
like top half of the wall the bad news is in the hallway it's a different paint which meant that i really had to do like a really proper thorough job ceiling to floor um so that took me a little bit longer and now i'm so tired um and i think i've got like a blister coming up on my hand from painting but anyway yeah the place is looking so much better and then i had a tidy i've got this weird thing sometimes where even if the place is spotless and i've just like cleaned the day before i feel like it's not clean and if i feel like it's not clean i won't be able to sit down and like settle so i've just been cleaning my clean flat which is just silly but i feel so much better now does anyone else get that or yeah is it just me because it's a bit strange because i know it's clean anyway rambling i'm now going to make myself a cup of tea and i'm gonna watch the serpent i started it yesterday and i'm obsessed like it is so good because i tried bridgerton as lots of you guys recommended it i've been seeing it all over instagram but i don't know it wasn't really for me i just wasn't like obsessed with it um i kind of watched it just for the sake of it kind of thing so yeah i'm really happy that i found the serpent it's really good it's about somebody trying to find a murderer um it's all based in thailand is it i think it might be thailand but yeah super gripping i love it also how cute does this look how cute does this look this is my new the new nutribullet and the walls are so nice and clean um i'm thinking i don't know if i'm gonna do this or not but i'm thinking about having like a little kind of station here with some like nuts like for example these dates having a little tray and having like a smoothie juice set up here and i think that could look really cute but i'm not a massive fan of having things on the kitchen work surface just because i feel like you have to clean around it all the time and it's kind of just easier to have it simple but let me know if you guys think that'd be quite cute because i think it could be good morning and happy wednesday i can't remember where i left you guys last night but i got into a bit of a serpent hole when i finished the series i am obsessed it is honestly one of the most gripping things i've seen in a long time and also not relevant to the storyline but i just love the way the two main characters dress they're so chic they're so put together and um it's very like 70s vibes really inspired by that um hence the huge hair today so i'm having a content day today which is proving a little bit tricky because it's very very dark and gray outside today but i've just filmed a tutorial for this hair now i need to take some photos for a collaboration and then I want to do another reel. So it's been a productive day so far. Okay, so it's my first time using the new Nutribullet. I'm so excited. In today's smoothie, we have banana, spinach, uh, mixed berries, chia seeds, dates. Um, I've also been putting this in my smoothies, which is the Beauty Chef Glow in a Beauty Essential. It's got vitamins A, C, and zinc. And yeah, it's supposed to be really good for your like gut health and for your skin and stuff. So, so yeah, I've been using this for about a week. Um, and also makes the smoothie taste really nice. And then I've just added some coconut water as well as the liquid. <laughs> Okay, so this is the finished result with all of the bits I bought yesterday. How cute. I'm loving this. So it is now three o'clock. Last time I spoke to you guys was this morning. I've made all of this mess. But I've done loads of filming and loads of pics. So yeah, I'm glad I got those out of the way before it got dark. Now I'm going to tidy all of this mess up. So I'll do a little time lapse. your name is tell me what you like and all your secrets i just want to go over the details let me inside of your mind i know i just met you but something tells me that you i have been sat at this desk all afternoon and i've only just looked up and it's now six o'clock and dark outside by the way what do you think of my light blue light glasses um i got these from key and I don't know if they work, but I think they're really cute. And I guess there's no harm in using them because I do get headaches if I look at my screen too long. Um, I've just been organising my life. I've actually recently got something called... It's called Notion. And you basically like organise your life on it. It's amazing. And I just really like how aesthetically pleasing and easy it is to use. So yeah, like I've got all of my task lists here. And those are my to-dos and then this is the stuff I've done and then I've also kind of made a spreadsheet here I've transferred everything from Excel onto onto Notion 
Um, and again, it just looks so much prettier and it's just all in one place, which I really like. It just feels a lot more clear and organized and tidy. And it's also like really customize customizable? Customizable, is that a word? I don't know, but you can customize it yourself to kind of have it how you want it with like your own text and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool. I definitely recommend it. I'm just gonna pop you guys down. Um, I actually found it on TikTok, like I do with most things. TikTok is honestly so educational. They actually have, where is it? They now have a section here, which is like the learn section. Um, so it's like information and teaching you things, even like silly things, like hair tutorials and just like basic stuff and then more interesting things like finances. Um, and I think it's a really great feature, especially because like social media can often be so unstimulative, I guess. Like you scroll through and it's funny, but you're not really gaining much from it. Whereas on this, I've learned so much stuff, just random things like this notion. Anyway, I'm going to make some dinner now. I'm so hungry. Um, I'm thinking of just doing like a really quick, easy kind of thing because I'm gonna be hangry sooner or later. Okay, I'm gonna have a salad and one of these potato rosties. This is from um, the co-op and I am honestly obsessed with them. I think I said it in my last vlog, but they're kind of like, um, yes, yeah, so it's lightly spiced root veg topped with um, butternut puree, pumpkin seeds and cranberries. And these are so addictive. They're going to have one of these with some salad and maybe some chips as well. Okay, whilst that is in the oven, I'm just going to upload a TikTok. Um, this is one of the things I filmed today, so I just need to add all of the product numbers um, so people can find each item. Talking to a stranger with a tattoo, baby, I'm another kind. There's a reason we're here, there's a vibe in the air that neither you or me could deny. But I see how you stare up and down everywhere, I can tell you're far from shy. So in the salad I've just put avocado, spinach, feta, um, balsamic and a bit of honey as well. Good morning guys, it is now Friday, I didn't vlog yesterday, I woke up feeling just really off and it wasn't in like an anxious way, I wasn't stressed, I wasn't sad, I just felt really off and just not myself. So I decided to take the day off vlogging and I just really focused on some work bits and just kind of getting stuff done and by the end of the day i just felt so much better and i woke up this morning feeling really fresh so yeah so this morning i have gone for a nice walk around the park i'm just about to make some breakfast i'm thinking i'm gonna make some banana oat pancakes they are the nicest pancakes and they're so healthy as well so i'll show you how i make those and then the rest of the day i just think i'm doing some work on my laptop i've got calls all afternoon and then i'm gonna do some self-care this evening and probably go enjoy a glass of wine maybe have a bath because it's friday okay so i'm putting in one banana one egg about a cupful of coats cupful of coats about a cupful of oats I'm completely guessing here i think that'll do and then a little bit of oat milk as well okay this is what it's looking like and then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. And then I've got this frying pan with a bit of coconut oil. It's on fairly like low to medium heat. And whilst that's doing its thing, I'm just going to add these um, frozen berries into the microwave to make them into a bit of like a compote kind of mixture. And I'm also just going to heat a plate up just so um, it stays nice and warm. Oh, oh dear. I feel like the first pancake always goes wrong. It's just like tradition. Um, let's see if we can glue them back together. It's not too bad though. On the days I don't have smoothies, I just add some of this to the drink I'm having. This is, again, this is the Beauty Chef. In a beauty boost, this is a vegan drink concentrate 
biofermented pomegranate, papaya, zinc, vitamin C. And it tastes kind of a little bit like cowpole and me being bloody stupid. The first time I tried this, I just thought this was a drink, like a kombucha kind of thing. So I just had it straight, which is basically like drinking squash straight and I almost had a heart attack. Um, so I do not recommend doing that. Um, but yeah, it's really, really lovely. It tastes delicious. I normally kind of know it's ready to flip when there's lots of bubbles on the surface. Just gonna open this up. those are my pancakes look how nice they look um i've just added some agave syrup as well just for a bit of added sweetness okay these are really really nice even if i do say so myself and it's crazy that these are healthy that's because they taste like normal pancakes So I've just had my second call of the day and this one was with a financial advisor which feels very adult but basically I just know absolutely nothing when it comes to like money and finances and as some of you guys may know one of my big goals in life is to buy a property kind of within the next five years hopefully sooner and I just really wanted to make sure that my money is in the right place and that my savings are in the right place so when I do come to buy a property everything will run quite smoothly well I know obviously things like buying properties are often not a smooth process also with me and my job obviously the income is very um unpredictable so that's obviously something lenders will take into account i just want to kind of make it as um easy for myself and my own focus and yeah i just want to make it as easy as myself as possible for future me and also sorting out things like pensions like again something that is far 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 in the future but also something that i do want to think about so uh yeah super fun interesting stuff but it has to be done my next um call is in half an hour um and that is i just got a notification from easyjet why are they giving me notifications no one is traveling right now um yeah my next call is with my bookkeeper so i'm gonna go through some receipts and stuff with her Everybody smoking, boy is getting late but we keep talking I have been the worst vlogger today. I've literally not vlogged anything, but I've had absolutely nothing to show you guys. All I've done is just sit at the table and do work. But yeah, I need to get my body moving a bit, so I'm going to do a quick, like 35, 45 minute yoga flow. I've just ordered a delivery as well, um, so I'm hoping that will arrive just in time at the end. So I was doing the 30 day challenge with yoga with Adrian or yoga by Adrian and although it was good there was a lot of focus on kind of meditation and breath and I think at the moment with being in lockdown I kind of want something a little bit more um challenging and a bit more active so I've now gone to Boho Beautiful and I find her yoga practices are just a bit better and yeah like more challenging and stuff <laughs> just finished up the yoga I ended up doing about 35 minutes or something um halfway through the delivery arrived and I was so tempted to stop and just eat my pizza but I didn't so I'm really proud of myself for that um but anyway life is all about balance so I ordered myself a Franco manca 
and a bottle of wine. I mean, I won't have a whole bottle tonight, but I'll definitely have a glass. Franco Manca do the best dip ever. This is their Stilton dip, and it's honestly just delicious. So I just got changed into my pajamas for the evening. Look how cute these are. These are from the Napco, and they're their Valentine's collection. I just love them. There's nothing like some fresh, cute PJs to get to you in the Friday mood. Um, and now I'm just going to do my skincare quickly because I've got a couple new additions to my skincare routine. I think they're really working for me at the moment. So the only makeup I have on today is just a bit of bronzer. So I do a double cleanse with the face halo. I've spoken loads about these before, but they're just the best things ever. You just add water and then remove anything, even like waterproof mascara. So I use this side first, just to have like an initial cleanse and get the makeup off the face. And then I use this side to do the second cleanse and I use a cleanser with that. I said it before, but I just think that when you have products like this, there's no point wasting like expensive nice cleanser removing your makeup when you can use this. And it's reusable, I just chuck them in the wash every time I use them. I'll then go in with my Hermes cleansing balm, which I am in love with. I've actually recently discovered their original cleansing balm, which is like a eucalyptus kind of fragrance and that smells incredible it's that really spa smell anything rose scented is just my fave and i just find this melts into the skin it really picks up any dirt like in the pores and it increases and i kind of massage this in for about a minute and then using the other side of the face halo i just remove everything that's on my skin and then what i'll do is pat my skin dry and then i'll probably wait about like a minute or so just so the skin is definitely definitely dry i'll then go in with my lms lavender a toner i used to just spritz this directly onto my face but i actually find that it's a lot more beneficial if i spray it onto like a cotton pad but i currently don't have any cotton pads so um i'm gonna skip this step for today and then when the skin is completely dry and it's important that the skin has no water in it whatsoever i will use my retinol which is the new part to my skincare routine so this is the Medicaid retinol 3 and basically this is like really researched online and what the best retinol is and there was amazing reviews on this one. So I went ahead and got this. I think it was around £45. And you literally just use one pump, which is that much. And then I work it into my skin really gently. Because like a moisturiser. And what retinol does is it, it increases the cell turnover. Basically meaning your skin is producing more cells and renewing them um which will reduce wrinkles fine lines um but the reason i'm using it is because i don't know if you're gonna be able to see but around my mouth here i do have some pigmentation which i'm assuming is from sun damage yeah this will just really help with like any like scarring kind of any blemishes that you have on your skin i've also been noticing that if i have like a bit of a scab or like a spot um it's going a lot quicker so yeah i'm only about two weeks into using this and i feel like i've seen a difference and then once that is completely absorbed again it's really important to wait for it to fully absorb because if you then put a moisturizer straight on top it might not work um, so once it is absorbed, I will add my LMS Peptide 4 um, Overnight Cream Oil. I've spoken about this before, but I really, really love this. It has the properties of an oil, but it feels like a cream. So um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this. It's very lightweight as well. It doesn't feel sticky. And again, I just use one pump on my hand. And I'll go down my neck with this as well. And then I use my eyelash serum. I get questions on probably every single video about my eyelashes and it's all down to this serum honestly this works wonders um I don't work with the brand I never have I buy these with my own money um not that that makes any difference but um yeah you literally just apply it along your lash line like you would um with eyeliner if I'll add a before and after photo on the screen so you can see um but yeah I rave about it all the time I just think it's an amazing product and xlash if you're watching this please sponsor me to finish everything off i will use this lip balm and what i love about this is you apply it at night and then in the morning it is still on your lips and it just really gives you the plumpest juiciest lips ever i just love it and this is by marlin and goetz i've been buying these for years and i just think they're my favorite lip balm especially as well because i find so many lip balms give me a really weird like dry tickly throat and they just taste a bit strange whereas this you can't really taste it 
and um, it also works well as a lip gloss. So that's my evening routine, and then in the morning, it's exactly the same, um, but instead of the retinol, I'll go in with this, which is the This Works Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid. And again, I'll use this after cleansing, um, and before moisturizer and um, basically vitamin c is really good to use alongside retinol and yeah it's just very brightening and very plumping and what i really like about this you put it on and it feels quite like kind of wet and then you feel it kind of dry on the skin straight away so your skin immediately feels quite tight but without drying it out i just really love the way this makes your skin feel like straight away so yeah again this is a product i've been using for about two weeks now really really recommend it and i really like how it's vitamin c and hyaluronic acid so you kind of get two in one and then i will go in with an oil which where is it oh yeah so this is the lms rose oil which smells again just beautiful and i'll apply that all over my face and neck and i'll go in with my gasha um, i think i said at the beginning of this vlog my gasha broke my old one and i didn't use it for a while and i definitely noticed a difference with the tightness of my skin i wasn't really ever sure if they actually did anything but i definitely think they do so yeah i'll just do five strokes on my cheekbones and then along my jawline and then i'll go up my neck and it's just a really nice massage and it definitely gives your face a bit more structure oh and one more thing as well with retinol make sure you use a good spf in the morning so after the oil is settled into my face i'll go in with like spf 50 because your skin is a lot more prone to sun damage and the whole point of me using retinol is to get rid of sun damage so yeah make sure you use your spf and a lovely follower messaged me the other day saying make sure you don't use like an spf that's in a moisturizer or like a foundation because it's not as effective and yeah i did actually know that so that's a really good thing to note i'll link the spf i use down below as well um so yeah that's my skincare routine i feel really out of breath <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that mini on get ready with me and i think i'm probably gonna end this vlog here because i'm probably just going to chill on the sofa for the rest of the evening watch celebs go dating be face time with family and then go to bed so i will end this vlog here i'm wishing you all a really lovely week i will see you on sunday for another vlog and i love you all so so much bye